In NX10 release, it is possible to trim the sketch recipe curve. To do so, we must be in active sketch. So let me create a new sketch uh, on this particular plane and click OK. In order to trim this uh, trim sketch recipe curve, first we need to project this sketch onto a plane or on a planar surface. So let me project this sketch on this particular plane using project curve command so let me go and look for a project curve option so here we have an option we have a command project curve so let me choose it and let me select this particular sketch and also this face and click ok and now you can see the sketch has been projected on this face now we can trim this uh, sketch recipe curve using chamfer or fillet or make corner or quick trim and quick extend so we can use any one of this uh, commands to just to check how we can trim this recipe curve so let me choose so here we have an option we have a command quick trim or quick extend so let me just click on quick extend and you can choose you can, as I roll over the mouse near the curve you can see it highlights how the sketch will be extended so you can click on this or you can let me try using a quick trim so let me just trim any one of the curve and we are getting an error message as this trim will remove the associative of the recipe curve if you don't if you want to retain the associativity you can do and if you don't want to retain it you can just click OK and now you can see the particular uh, curve has been trimmed and you can see all the dimensions has been added with the automatic dimensions in case if you are not getting the automatic dimensions and if you want to uh, make sure if you want to make it visible you make sure that you switch on the option under the uh, direct sketch gallery you can just go to the sketch gallery or you can click on more you can make sure that the continuous auto dimensioning option is selected so that you will get the automatic dimensions as soon as the sketch is losing the associativity and this way we can trim the sketch recipe curves and the next update in nx10 is creating uh, on creating the sketch sketch splines so let me in order to uh, create a sketch spline we must be in active sketch so let me just click on or click on new sketch so choose a particular plane on which plane you want to draw the spline now let me choose the studio spline command to create a spline so you can pick the command now you can and you can we can create a spline using bipoles now let me just click one two three four you can see as soon as I've selected I've created the fourth point we have an option we have the option for this endpoint as G1 and G2 so when if you click on some other points you can see we don't have the option as uh, G1 and G2 and we get, when we when we click on the start point again we have the option to pick G1 and G2 in order to define the endpoints of the spline so this is a new enhancement included in this release of NX10 and also after creating the sketch splines we can also add the dimensions we can to these poles and make sure that you select this constraint as poles will be selected and then you can click on the dimensions you can select the poles and you can dimension it from any of these points so this way we can make this spline more controllable parametrically and uh, this is with respect to the uh, sketch splines